peace is the highest aspiration of the American people. We will negotiate for it, sacrifice for it. We will not surrender for it now or ever. This is the Hofti House, built in 1906. It's beautiful. The setting is fantastic on the sea. This is the opening bell of the summit. It's on Saturday morning, October 11th, 1986. And they are standing outside the Hofti House, Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. This I love. This is one of my favorite photos. This is the day before the summit starts. This is the president and the president of Iceland, who is the first elected female president in the world. She had run the local theater for the previous 15 years. Reagan is fantastic. He is wearing a Ulster jacket, fur line, from the 1930s. I presume he just took it off a movie set. Uh, <laughs> she said to him, that we're both of the theater, both acting. She says, you know what, I, here's my thought. There's no school teaching you how to be a president. But theater is the best thing because they're discussing what life is about, what society is about all day long. Reagan loved that idea and he called her my old colleague ever since that time. And whenever she appeared at any international meeting or anything like that, he says, there's my old colleague. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Prime Minister of Iceland. <laughs> this is a place, 240,000 people, they are used to nothing new happening. The news media descends on these people. Tom Brokaw said, we can have a camera crew at 10.15 in the morning, and the Prime Minister said that would be fine. He takes his daily dip, but that's not to prevent him. And there's, there's a very young and uh, vigorous uh, Tom Brokaw. Raisa Gorbachev was going around town. She greeted these girls in bikinis with her fur-clad arm. 1987 was the signing of the most extensive arms control agreement in history. And a very few years after that, in 1991, the fall of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. There is a movie in the works now on the Reykjavik summit. Christoph Waltz is going to play Gorbachev. Michael Douglas is going to play Reagan. Ridley Scott is the producer, and they asked me to be executive producer. I said, if it's just a title, I'm your man. <laughs> November 5th, 1994. My fellow Americans, I have recently been told that I am one of the millions of Americans who will be afflicted with Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, as Alzheimer's disease progresses, the family often bears a heavy burden. I only wish there was some way I could spare Nancy from this painful experience. When the time comes, I am confident that with your help, she will face it with faith and courage. In closing, let me thank you, the American people. In comes Mikhail Gorbachev, landing at what was later called Ronald Reagan Washington National uh, Airport. He goes right to the Capitol, and he goes over, and he starts patting the coffin and then he rubs the flag on the coffin of the 40th President of the United States. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs>